Hi, today's problem going to be about population genetics, and here is a problem. Cystic fibrosis is a recessive condition that affects about 1 in 2,500 babies uh, in the Caucasian population of the United States. Please calculate the following. The frequency of the recessive allele in the population, the frequency of the dominant allele in the population, and the percentage of the heterozygous individuals or carriers in the population. So if you know how to apply uh, Hardy-Weinberg formula, you may stop video here, try to solve uh, this problem and answer all these questions, and then you can run video again and compare your answers with my answers and explanations. So here is my answer. And first of all, in order to solve this problem, we have to use problem. Uh, we have to use um, formula of the Hardy-Weinberg that is frequency equals to p squared plus two p q and plus q squared, where p squared stands for the homozygous dominant, uh, P here also dominant allele and Q recessive allele and Q squared stands for the homozygous recessive and all this equals to 1 and 1 equals to 100%. So, uh, we told that uh, recessive condition or double uh, recessive, uh, homozygous recessive occurs in about 1 in 2,500 um, babies. Uh, if we divide 1 by 2,500, we are going to get 0. Point zero 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 four. So we can put it here. So uh, zero 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 point four. Uh, this is frequency of the people who is affected with this uh, uh, disease. And now we have to find the frequency of the uh, recessive allele and this is going to be if we have q squared equals to 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 4 so q means square root of this number 0, 0, 0, 0, 4 and that uh, equals to 0, 0 so frequency as you see here 1 equals to 100% so 0, 0 0.2 equals to 2% so uh, the frequency of the um, small a allele would be 2% in the whole population so we answered the first question that is 2% and now we have to find uh, the answer for the second question, that is frequency of the dominant allele in the population. And this is very easy, because uh, we have two alleles in population, so that means uh, P plus Q, and P stands for the uh, capital or dominant allele, and Q for the recessive allele. Uh, if we combine them, all of them together, we should get 1. So, that also means that if we know Q, that means that 1 minus Q equals 2P. So, we know that uh, Q is 2%, then uh, P equals to 1 minus uh, 0, 0, Two, and that means 0, 0,98 or we can just 
can move this uh, comma to decimal places to the right and we are going to get 98% and this is frequency of the P allele or frequency of the uh, dominant allele A so we answer it the quest second question that is uh, frequency of the dominant allele capital A is 98% and uh, the last question is the percentage of the heterozygous individuals or carriers in this population so uh, we just need to use this part of the formula to answer this question so uh, heterozygous uh, would be we just need to multiply so capital A and small a equal to 2 and we we know that uh, P is 0 0.02 multiplied by 0 0.02 and multiplied by Q that is uh, 0 0.98 0 0.98 and if you multiply these numbers, we are going to get 0 0.04. Or if you we move a comma to the uh, two decimal places to the right, this is going to be 4%. So heterozygous uh, in the population going to represent 4%. Or 1 out of 25 people would be carriers of this disease and I want to uh, highlight that this is true for the Caucasian uh, population of the United States because for example if you take the different ethnic group Asians or Africans uh, the frequency of this uh, allele uh, would be different and even uh, in Caucasian group, in Europe, for example, in different countries, in England, Germany or Russia, those all these countries populated by Caucasians, but uh, frequency of these alleles uh, also would be different. So this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Now I hope you would be able to apply this formula to different problems. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, I post new videos almost every day and please write comments if you have underneath this video. Goodbye.